Welcome to part two. So we were talking about uh, how the Bible is actually a good book of principles. I'm saying a good book of principles because that's what it has. There is actually a verse that I would, a verse that I would like um, you as a Christian, a non-Christian, whatever you are, to think about. There is a verse in the Bible which says, "A wealth, a wise man, leaves wealth." For his children and his children's children now i thought about this actually last night i was like why is it written like that why exactly that part then it came to my mind uh -huh, uh -huh. now i have to actually philosophize let me get you to the grind of this whole thing you see this um this principle of a wise man lives well for his children and his children's children. If you look at the graph of Maslow's uh, hierarchy of needs, you will find that self-actualization is at the top and at the base where a lot of people are. There's basic needs, which is water, food, sex, shelter and all the things that you need for your sustenance like the things you can think about every day a home and stuff like that in africa a lot of people this is not this is not even they haven't even started climbing this this uh, hierarchy of needs they haven't started climbing it as in they have not started here on the basics do you know why they haven't started on the basics because every time an African child, when they leave their home, they have to start from the scratch. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just not all of them who thrive in that. Even here in Europe, not all children would actually thrive if they were to be led to start on their own, on their basic needs. A lot, think about what I'm saying. If you have traveled, then you know that there is even white beggars on the streets of Europe. What we see on TV, like this place is all clean, whatever, it's a lie. I live here. There are beggars on the street and they are white. So don't think that beggars is only for Africa. There's also people who actually can't function, even in a society which is like this. But why am I saying that we should focus on this Bible verse now? A wise man leaves a fortune, an inheritance for his children and his children's children. See, if your children and my children are covered here, they only have to start thinking about work and what they are going to do and self-actualization. Before colonialization, we Africans because of the way we used to live we were already here because you are already born in a family in a society which loves you provides a home for you and your family you already know no when i get married i'll just i'll just put my little shelter here and the cows belong to the chief they belong to everyone the food is for everyone we were good in this way but now because of the change of society this is what happens here in Denmark. The society provides all these things for people. If you are, if you are disabled or you are whatever ailment that you could be having, the government actually helps you to meet these needs. Do you know why the government helps people to meet their basic needs? Because then the human mind the human mind settles and starts to actually be genius and think about things that can benefit not only the person, the individual, but the neighbor and the next and the other person. So when I say a wise man leaves an inheritance for his children and his children's children, this is a wise principle from the Bible. I mean, if we as Africans, we start by doing this for our children we make wills 
We make sure that our children, when we are going to the fields, they learn how to do those things. Because at the end of the day, if we just hand it over to them, pa, I'm telling you the truth. Everything we're just going to is just going to go in flames, in shambles, to the trash can. Because something that somebody has not put a hand in to sweat for, they never respect because the mind cannot fathom that it can just get free things. Our mind as human beings is not created like that. The moment somebody gives you something for free, you're literally, you're literally in a space where you are stupid. You can only give money to somebody who already has money because they can fathom it. But if you give money to a poor person, the only thing they would do is spend it here. So don't blame poor people when you give them. You say, oh, they're not even developing. They're not doing anything. No, 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 no. Their mind is only here. Have this understanding. The mind is only here. That's why I always insist on this phrase that says, do not make do not give people fish make them fishers or fishermen because the moment the moment you dish someone something you're literally doing this to their brains and telling them you can just relax you don't have to think because i've already thought for you this thing of handouts Africans, we should literally learn to say no. If it is not a loan, somebody gives you money, it's not a loan. And it's not your boyfriend or your girlfriend, whatever. Say no. Because at the end of the day, you have not worked for it. That money, it will just disappear like that. And it will leave stupidity in your head. Money that you have not worked for. Money that you don't deserve. Money that comes totally free. And it's not attached to any relationship. I'm telling you, it is money that goes into your brain and makes you stupid. You start having the disease called dependency syndrome. You will have the disease called dependency syndrome. And dependency syndrome is that disease which a lot of Africans have where they are just waiting for their family that is in Europe or wherever to give them handouts is because they've actually been intoxicated with that disease. They've been injected with the money. And when that disease goes in there, hey, my friends, it's like removing a tumor from actually there where your medulla oblongata is. That's what happens. So try to just think if somebody comes to you, you've not asked for the money, you don't need it for anything, it's not a loan. When they give you money, just know this. They are injecting, they are injecting your brain with the disease called dependency syndrome. And you'll be working like this every time. And nobody loves me. Dependence syndrome. Dependence syndrome. Ah, now, they don't even call me nowadays because after all, I just asked for a hundred dollars. Eh? Honey, do you know that I had to work two hours to make that hundred dollars? Do you know that I had to work for whatever? Do you know what I did to make that hundred dollars for me to just dish it to you because I thought you were hungry? So listen. If your children are covered here, hmm? if your children are covered with the basic needs, the only thing they'll have to work hard for is to actually improve the, di the, the empire that you have already started for them. If you would have taught them how to be in the system of the wealth that you have created, and it is going to go and go and go for generations on end. This is how people here actually do it. There's a lot of companies in Denmark that are actually family driven. They've been there from 1600 up to now they're existing. Because families choose to teach their children what to do. And those who don't want, they're not forced into it. They are given their wealth when the parents die, but that's about it. And you also see the way 
they live. It's not the same as those who are in the system learning and keeping on pushing the empire forward. You can see, you can see when you look at them. Others walk in this way, others walk in that way. Others drive in that way, others drive in that other way. Others um, fly in that way, others fly in that way. It's totally, as in you can see the distinction between the two. Those that have followed the, di the, 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 the dynasty of the family and those who, are just, who have just been dished into that, having not done anything. My bottom line for this, if you as an African, you want to do this, remember, it has to be a trickle effect. Whoever is at the top has to give education, not money. The money, of course, will come because it comes with when people die. Give the education to these ones here. You pass on. I hope you can see the sizes. Here, there's maybe two people who started, three people who started the, dyno, the, 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 the dynasty, the empire. They pass on. They've given it to five. This five, they work so hard. Da, 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 da. They pass on. They leave it to. The more people that are working, the more money the family has the more wealth the family has the less anybody has to think about that so people will just be doing exactly what they want when you are in self-actualization you actually don't think about money instead you think what can i do to help the world that is where actually the distinction is you will stop looking for jobs. These people who live in such families, you will never find them working for other people. No. Why? Because they are secure. At the end of the day, you started with two, with three people in the first generation. By the fifth generation, there is more than what can even be shared among family members. So we need to go back to our basics as Africans. Let's remember, your family is actually very, very important. Your family should be the center of what you are doing because it's actually your family that will bring you down or bring you up. That's what I've learned. The moment everybody is satisfied with what they are doing, they're actually on maximum on whatever they do. And they are not in competition because everybody knows, self-actualized, everybody knows I am powerful in this, and that's what I would do. I am powerful in farming, this is what I would do. I am powerful in this, this is what I would do. There will be no competition. You don't see competition if you understand who you are. Because your only, your only important job is to actually make sure that the world is a better place because you've been around. Self-actualization is a space where you come to say, this is me, this is what I bring to the table for the sake of you and you, regardless of your color, your, your hair type, irregardless, I'm here to make a difference in the world. That is when you reach self-actualization. And this is started from the Bible. So my dear African parents, this is the time that we have to start thinking like this. Create wealth for our children and our children's children so that they will not go and be beggars and they will not go and do jobs that they don't want because they feel they are broke. The moment that element is off the board, off the table, off the shelf, a lot of African families are literally going to live in their actual fullness where issues of racism will not matter, issues of poverty will not matter because you understand who you are. We are fighting racism here there because we don't have money. Trust me, the moment you have a billion in your account nobody is saying rubbish to you as a black person nobody is actually you make every white cream yellow person work for you it's all my glasses
it's all about finding this secret of making your children have everything that they need so that as they grow up they are actually only focusing on doing that which they were called for their purpose in life so anyway i hope we can understand why i'm saying we don't have to fight this racism issue it's not it's not it's not necessary we just need to understand it cope with it in the meantime and later on we should be able to abolish it when everybody is at that level of self-actualization instead of being in this space where we are only looking for basic needs so dear africans and dear everybody else who's living a life that uh, we don't really desire please let's move ourselves and our children to that other level that's what i had to share with you today and uh, i hope you enjoy my eh? i hope you enjoy my glasses so see you until the next video i'd like to say please listen to what i said learn something put it in your medulla or blangarda and if you can't at least share it to someone okay i love you be fruitful and be greatness bye for now